हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ़ यू हैव डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्राम हेबलर डायनामिक्स एंड द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट अस्फेयर इज फायर्ड डाउनवर्ड्स इन टू अ मीडियम विद एन इनिशियल स्पीड ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन मीटर पर सेकेंड इट इफ इट एक्सपीरियंस अ डी एक्सलरेशन ऑफ दिस फंक्शन ए इक्वल्स टू माइनस सिक्सटी मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर where t is in seconds determine the distance traveled before it stops so this is quite simple problem we are given the d acceleration as a function of time so we can say that acceleration is equal to dv by dt equals to minus 60 and if we multiply both side of equation by dt so we will have dv equals to minus 60 dt and now if i integrate both side of equation So now if I integrate both side of equation, so we have to integrate this from zero to t, and when t equals to zero, the initial velocity is twenty seven. So we have to integrate this left hand side from twenty seven to v. So now if we integrate this, this will cancel out. D will be cancelled out with the integral, so we will be left with v, and this is from twenty seven to v, and this will be equal to the integration of uh, this right hand side will be. A minus six t squared divided by two, and this is from zero to t. So now, if we put these limits, this will be v minus twenty seven minus three t squared, and we need to bring this twenty seven to the other side of equation, so it will become positive. So velocity equals to minus three t squared plus twenty seven. Now, since we we need to find the distance traveled before it stops, so we need to have the s as a function of time. So this is the velocity as a function of time. So as we know that the velocity is ds by dt equals to minus three t square plus twenty seven, and if we multiply both sides of equation by dt, so we will have the equation like this, and now we we need to integrate this to get s of t function. So now again we need to integrate this from zero to t, and this is from zero to s. And again, if we integrate this, we will be left with s from zero to s. And now the integration of this right hand side is minus three t to the power three divided by three plus twenty seven t. And this is from zero to t. So now, if we put these limits, we will be left with s minus zero equals to this three will cancel out. So we will be left with minus t cube plus twenty seven t. And similarly, we can write that s equals to minus t to the power three plus twenty seven t. So this is s of t function. Now we are asked to determine the distance traveled before it stops. So when the velocity becomes zero. So we have this uh, v as a function of time so we need to put v equals to 0 in order to get the t value for which the velocity becomes equals to 0 so we need to find the time uh, taken by the particle to stop so if i equate this velocity equation which is minus 3t square plus 27 if i equate this equals to 0 so we will get the t value uh, for the sphere That it will take to stop, right? So, so we can write this is minus three t square equals to minus twenty seven. Minus will cancel out, and t square will be equal to twenty seven divided by three, which gives us nine. And t is equal to the square root of nine, which gives us three seconds. So the 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 sphere takes three seconds to come to rest. So now once we know t value, we can plug in this t value in this equation to get that. Uh, distance traveled by the sphere. So now we can write it as is equal to minus t cube. So t value is three to the power three plus twenty seven into three, and this gives us fifty four meters. So now when the sphere is deaccelerating with the with this much acceleration, which is given as a function of time, so it will take three seconds to comes to rest and it will travel a distance of 54 meters and now if we were asked to find the acceleration after t equals 3 seconds so we can put the the t value in this equation this acceleration equals to minus 60 so that will be a will be equal to minus 6 into 3 so this will be minus 18 meter per second square 
so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy if it helps in your learning